Death comes to us all, but it comes sooner to Sierra Leoneans. Life expectancy here is roughly half that in rich Western countries. Mismanagement and the war that raged here in the 1990s have left rural Sierra Leoneans, the majority of the population, without access to the most basic health care. <coughs> Emma Kamara has suspected tuberculosis. Many die young here from this preventable and treatable disease. But she's lucky because she's been found by a health worker from a local clinic. Do you think that you'll be able to help them? Yes, in fact, we have been receiving patients that are more down than Emma, and with the help of God and with their own compliance, I think they are up now. Some patients with terminal diseases manage to make it to the clinic itself. It's a modest place run with charity money from outside Sierra Leone. And it's the only health facility in the country with a license to administer morphine a drug vital to relieving pain during what is known as end-of-life care. It's not an easy place to work in. When we have a patient, they are now our friends. You start going to that patient every day, you talk with the patient, she becomes your friend. Then just one day they tell you that, they tell you that patient is dead. So it's not an easy job. But we try to relieve their pain and let them die. Not in pain, but comfortably. Life and death in the capital Freetown are a different story. Middle class people here live full lives. Their funerals are often more like celebrations of achievement. There's no taboo about death in Sierra Leone. Ceremonies like this one are an important part of the fabric of community. There are funerals that take place, like this one that's taking place behind me, of middle-class people who grow to a ripe old age. What pulls down the uh, average is the fact that so many mothers and children uh, die in childbirth. <laughs> Ten years after the end of the civil war here, this is now a country that's trying to climb up from the bottom of the health league table. Free care for all expectant mothers was introduced two years ago. As a result, this maternity hospital in Freetown is always full. It can only be done with aid money from the outside world, and sustaining that aid flow will be a challenge. But Sierra Leonean health workers are the ones at the sharp end putting the policy into practice. People in the rural areas, all these remote areas, they now, uh, now get the awareness that they should seek healthcare facilities, they should come to antenatal uh, clinics to get themselves examined so that any complications can be detected early and this can be treated. This will help to reduce mortality in the country. 17-year-old Mariama Mansare was brought here because her unborn child was lying awkwardly in the womb. Doctors told me that in a rural setting, she and the baby would certainly have died in childbirth. But Mariama and little Sarah have made it. Life expectancy in Sierra Leone has just nudged up a little bit. Mark Doyle, BBC News, Freetown.